So, willkommen bei Part 14 unseres Half-Life 2 Let's Plays. Im letzten Part haben wir es bis in die Zitadelle geschafft und äh, haben alle Waffen verloren, außer unsere Gravity Gun, die etwas gepimpt wurde. Und mit dieser Gravity Gun kann man nicht nur Leute über den Haufen schmeißen. Nein, man kann auch Leute gegen Leute schmeißen. Sehr praktisch ist. Da kümmere dich um deinen eigenen Scheiß. Ah, ich habe euch nicht zeige, wie der wieder auf mich schießen und ich habe 5 HP. Und dann die Dinger da hinten. Gucken, wie weit wir mit den 5 HP noch kommen. Look, Gordon. Look at what you are throwing away. Is it worth it? Ich hab Breen. Und da vorne ist wieder eine Station, mit der wir, wie wir letzte Folge gelernt haben, Leben und äh, Rüstung aufladen. Hopp, 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 hopp. Sehr geil, so voll. Okay, es geht wieder in einem Taxi zu dem Breen. Dann wollen wir uns mal darauf einlassen. Ah, wir werden aussortiert und fahren ein wenig hoch, ein wenig sehr hoch. Sehr, sehr hoch. Was sind denn das für Viecher? Haben wir noch nicht eher gesehen. Oh, da schwärmen sie aus. hinaus. Njak, njak, njak. Aber eins muss man den Kommen mal jetzt lassen, ne? Hier oben haben sie eine geile Aussicht. Auf 
es jetzt texturmäßig nicht so wunderschön aussieht, aber es ist schon geil. Leider haben sie diese Tür mal einfach mitten Raums ins hin bewohntes Gebiet gesetzt und drumherum alles versucht zu killen. Das war jetzt nicht so optimal, sag ich mal, ne? Ihr seid unbewaffnet. Hey, gib, nein, meins, gib das, ich will, ach oh man. Mossman. I'll take him from here. Don't struggle, it's no use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Gordon. Die kann sich hier aber sehr frei bewegen. <lacht> Inhabited by vast meteorological intelligences. Worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Green. Genocide. Indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend. Then you deliver yourself? If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can't do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli. If you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Alex, honey... Dad. Gordon? No. God damn you, Breen, you let her go. That's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance her mother never had? <laughs> How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combined portal. Go ahead, Bree. <laughs> If that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. <sighs> oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, The resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. No! Don't listen to him, Gordon. How about it, Dr. Freeman? Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends. I'll send them on their way and then we can talk openly. Don't stop, honey. Dad, I'm so sorry. Alex. Judith, what do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. Guards, get in here. They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Mossman, please. I'm sorry, Wallace. You're all out of time. Don't. Hurry! Dad, hang on! You fool! Watch out, he's gonna- No! Yeah, I'm back. Ah. Dad! No, 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 no. Don't worry about me, honey. There's no time, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman. Judith. Look after my father. 
Don't you worry. Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. Never. Scheinbar du musst mir doch einen größeren Plan on, für uns. Aber ich hätte es bevorzugt, wenn sie uns eingeweiht hätte. We haven't known each other very long, but I know you didn't have to do this. I had to rescue my father, but you. Well, thanks for coming after me. Hey, listen. That's him. Was war das für ein widerliches Viech? Ähm, wo kommen wir jetzt hin? weiter? Nee. Ah. Oh my god. This is the Citadel's dark fusion reactor. It powers their tunneling entanglement device. We'll never have a chance like this again. We've got to stop Dr. Breen. I can't shut it down. Looks like he's turned over control to the other side. You'll have to go into the core and do what you can. Get in the elevator and I'll let you in. <lacht> so hat's doch auch alles angefangen. My, my suit is fine. Ja, ich habe in dem Generator mehr oder weniger <lacht> hat das ja quasi angefangen. Get in the elevator. Also in the elevator. Ja, alles klar. Ich äh, bin da. Worst, ich komme. Be careful. Oh. Aber sicher doch, Alex. Du weißt doch, wenn mir was zustößt, ich kann laden. <lacht> oh, ein Bubbelball. Mit einem Breen drin. Dr. Breen, there he is. Dr. Freeman, you really shouldn't be out there. At the moment of synapse, as I teleport, this chamber will be bathed in deadly particles that have yet to be named by human science. Perhaps when I have the leisure to do the work myself, I'll name one of them after you. That way you won't be completely forgotten. When the singularity collapses, I will be far away from here. In another universe, as well. You, on the other hand, will be destroyed in every way it is possible to be destroyed, even in some which are essentially impossible. I don't know what you oh. can possibly hope to achieve apart from your own annihilation. I don't know what you can possibly hope to achieve apart from your own annihilation. Da war noch einer drin, okay. Three minutes. 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 Three minut
wollen wir drauf. Komm, fahr wieder runter. Scheinbar noch weiter hoch, oder? Kann ich da durch, oder wo muss ich hin? Da geht's weiter nach oben scheinbar. Are you still with us, Dr. Freeman? Not for much longer, I think. Only you have honest your boundless energy for a useless purpose. I hope you said your farewells. Ich bin äh, experimenteller Physicist hier. Don't know what you will unleash. You could bring down this whole citadel. Think man. Think ja, aber die Citadel, die will ja keiner haben. Einen haben wir noch. Komm. Und das ist ein stand aber nicht in der Liste. Freeman, is it really that time again? It seems as if you only just arrived. You've done a great deal in a small time span. You've done so well, in fact, that I've received some interesting offers for your services. Ordinarily, I wouldn't contemplate them, but... These are extraordinary times. Hmm? <gasps> Rather than offer you the illusion of free choice, I will take the liberty of choosing for you. If and when your time comes round again. I do apologize for what must seem to you an arbitrary imposition, Dr. Freeman. I trust It will all make sense to you in the course of... Well, I'm really not at liberty to say. In the meantime, this is where I get off. Ja, das war Half-Life 2 in 14 Folgen mit etwas variabler Länge, aber etwa 40 Minuten. Tja, vielen Dank fürs Zusehen. Es folgt Half-Life 2 Episode 1. Die gibt es dann hoffentlich morgen. Und oh, ein Charlie Brown war dabei. <lacht> Und nochmal vielen Dank fürs Zusehen. Bis dann.
Lamar? Lamar! Blast that little... Where did she get to?